So, do you, if you make something and you see it and you call it good, do that, does that mean that you think it's beautiful? Hmm? What do you think? Would you call something that you made that you disliked good? No, you wouldn't do that. So, because God called his creation good, that meant he thought it was beautiful. That meant he thought it was, it was pleasant. In, um, in the dictionary, I looked up the word good, and the words that came up to describe it was adequate, pleasant, and agreeable, and satisfactory. So all of these words are positive things. These are not negative. These aren't like, eh, it's kind of okay. No, it's good things. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually look at um, what God has created using the elements that we're going to be studying this week. And so the elements that we're studying are space, not like space, like our space, like actual distance space, texture, and value. So you have your little packets. This would be a good time to bring them out because this is when we're going to be labeling them just like we did last time. And this time I mixed the, the I mixed nature and I mixed Sophie, can you see it in this frame? I mixed the nature and mm -hmm. I mixed the man-made works together. So, the first one we're going to look to, you just flip your page over, is we're going to look at the wheat. So, this is dealing with texture. Can you see it in the frame? This is dealing with texture. If you can see, you can see all of the different um, lines and it looks kind of like soft, but also a little prickly, doesn't it? And so... It's wheat slash hay, and who was the creator of this? God was. Now, we flip the next page, and now we're going to be dealing with value. And value is um, different lightings and colors. So we have very dark color, we have very light colors, and um, that's what value is. So it's just differentiating through the color shades, lighter and darker shades. So this is seaweed. It's like a microscopic vision of seaweed, also called iodine, which is found in seaweed. And God created this. And then, can, you, can they still see it? And then we have right here space. So we are dealing with distance. So we have the flowers, which are very up close, and you can tell that we're super close to flowers. But then you see the mountains, and the mountains, because they're put higher on the page, look very far away. And the flowers, because they're put super close up to the page um, at the very bottom, they look like they're super close up to us. So that's dealing with space. And God created different things in different areas to make some things look bigger and make some things look smaller. And the God, God is the creator of this as well. So now we're going to look at um, we're going to look at some man-made art and beauty dealing with those three elements as well. So if you turn, if you just flip back to the first page, it'll we'll see the first picture, and this is dealing with space. Can you see it? And this is dealing with space, and this is by Thomas Hart Benton, and it's called the Sources. The Sources of Country Music, that's what this artwork is called. So, as you can see, we have some things that are near the bottom that make, um, that make it look very close up. So, like this man right here looks very close up. But then we have the little train in the background, and even further away, we have a little boat. So, the way that the, um, Thomas placed each of these items on the paper to make it look closer or farther away is very important to be able to show um, to show the setting where everything is. And now we have this picture at the bottom. We go down, and this is dealing with texture. And this is by Joshua Miles, and this artwork is called The Collector. So if you can see, you can see that he used paint that was really thick, and he created little divots in it to create texture, to make it look like it, it stands out. And um, he, was, he was trying to make his eye look really sad here. I know this because I did a little bit of research on it. 
but he was trying to make it look pretty sad, and he used the texturized paint to be able to um, emphasize the sadness in the eyes. And now, if you turn over here, we have a picture. And yes, pictures can be pieces of art as well because what you're doing, this was not naturally black and white. This was colored. But the man who took this picture, and his name was um, Dan McCullen, and we're dealing with value, the man who took this picture, he put a filter on it and he had to choose the pieces that he wanted to make lighter and darker. So we have here is we have a man walking down a, rail, a railway and this is during the war times. And we have the smoke and he had to choose how light he wanted everything to be and how dark he wanted everything to be and that deals with value. So he chose a medium gray over here. He chose a light gray over here. He chose really dark black over here. And so those are our three elements that we are going to be learning about today. So now, like last time, if you remember, Sophie, I'm going to need you to like pick up the camera and just follow me. If you remember, like last time, what, what we did was um, we labeled the paper, and I showed you this. It's going to be the same thing. So... This is going to be Space by Thomas Hart, who's the creator of this picture right here. So if you zoom in right here, so if you can, they see really well. So I want it in cursive. They need, they need to see this. Sorry, guys. So um, just like we did last time, you're going to um, pause the video. You're going to write it down right here on the side, just like you did last time and connect it to the um, picture that goes with the labeling. So this picture right here, it needs to say space, it needs to say Thomas Hart Benton because that was the creator and this is the element that he's emphasizing in his piece of art. And then the art piece is called the sources of country music. So you have to write all of that down right there. Okay, so pause the video right now. All right, now we're gonna move on to the next. Sophie, if you please follow me, she's my assistant today. We're going to be dealing with the I one. So, right there you have the I, and then it's dealing with the texture um, element. It's by Joshua Miles, and it's the painting is called The Collector. So I want you to write it on the side just like I did right there. Pause the video real fast. All right, now if you turn the page over, we're going to be dealing with the wheat one, the one with the hay. So it's dealing with the element of texture. It's the wheat is created by God. And um, I want you to write either wheat slash hay on it right here on the side. Wheat slash hay because it's either one or really. All right. And then we're going to deal with the value. And we're going to deal with this picture right here. Can they see it well, Sophie? Deal with this picture right here with um, the man walking by the railroad in the smoke. It's dealing with the element of value. And it's by the man Dan McCullen. And he didn't name his picture, so it doesn't have a name. All right. Now we're going to go if you just turn your page over to the last page, they need to be able to see this pretty well. They can. They can? Okay. If you remember, so I'm going to just put it right here, but know that I'm talking about here. So we have the, um, we have the iodine slash seaweed. So it's dealing with the element of value. It's created by God. And it's called seaweed slash iodine. So I want you to write that down on the side. Now, if you just turn that over, the last picture at the very bottom of the page with the flower in the mountains, it's dealing with space. It's created by God. And it's, um, it's just mountains and flowers. So I want you to just pause and write that down on the page. Okay. That's all for today. Thank you so much, students. I hope you have a good week.
see you in the next video. Bye.